Hi, in this video I'm going to try and answer the question, are you more afraid of success than failure, or at least get you thinking about what that means, and maybe maybe you are afraid of success, because sometimes society pushes us towards being afraid of succeeding. Um, it's kind of, certainly here in the UK, and I think it's elsewhere in the world as well, we kind of secretly don't like success, we don't like other people being more successful than, our, than others. And I know there was a survey recently where they were sort of saying if you were earning 80,000 a year and your friends were earning 90,000, would you like that? Or would you be happy if everyone was earning 100, 110,000 or something like that? And people were actually more more afraid of earning less than their friends. So it's kind of, it's weird. But worth looking up that one, or, or not. And Hollywood, big movies, despite being really highly paid, often reinforces the view of being afraid of success. The um, successful enterprises are always portrayed as being evil, and that goes right the way through from the James Bond villains through to near enough anyone else. And that can reinforce the, the fear of being successful. And if you're not as successful as you claim you want to be, maybe you're, you're more afraid of success than you'd like to admit. It can be deep seated, we'll talk about that a bit later. It can be all sorts of reasons and it's curable because fears are fairly easy to cure, honestly. So take a minute to think about what it'd be like to be successful in whatever area of life you'd like to be a success in. In your mind's eye, draw a picture of what it would be like. Think what it would feel like. Notice all the sounds that you'll hear. Notice all the different things that are taking place, the sounds, the smells, the feelings, what your friends are looking like, what you're looking like, the glow that you've probably got because you're successful, all those different things. And then, like you did as a child, get closer to that picture, get as close as you can. You used to sit inches away from the TV screen, if you, even if your parents told you you shouldn't. And do that in your mind's eye and just make the picture really, really big, really vivid, as if you could step into it. The more you can visualise it, the more you can visualise how, how great it will be to be successful, the better, and the more you'll get over that fear of it. And notice the feelings and emotions that come up, because quite often when we think about something as intense as success, or failure, but certainly success, lots and lots of different feelings and emotions will come up, and they might be ones that you can't put your finger on quite, but they're there. And take a little bit of time, don't dwell on it too much, just get a sense of what's going around, what's buzzing around your head. And notice the thoughts that come up. Things like, what would your friends and family think? What would other people think of you? Do you need their approval to be successful? Well, no, <laughs> basically. But quite often in our mind's eye, we think we do. So there's that. All sorts of different things that crop up. Notice all those different thoughts. And if you've got a pen and paper to hand, just jot them down. It's actually easier than distracting yourself on screen and you don't get the chance of dashing off and checking Facebook while you're doing it or anything like that. So do that and notice them and when you get those, pick off the smaller fears, they bully them basically, bully them out of existence because the smaller ones are easy to get rid of, not as deep set usually, and they go faster and that gives you the, the, the wherewithal, the go, get up and go to actually tackle the larger ones gradually and you'll find that that's a good way to get rid of fear generally. And are the thoughts deep set? Quite often they're lurking around from childhood. Maybe your teachers have told you, oh, you'd never be good at that. And you took it to heart. And you've just held on to it like a Linus blanket for the rest of your life. And yeah, you were maybe not even double, double digit years, but you've held on to it as though it's the truth. And no, it wasn't. It wasn't true then. It's not true now. Highly unlikely. OK, if you're 60 something or 70 something, you may not become an astronaut. That's a physical thing more than anything else, but most other things pretty easy to do, and even you know, even racing, you you don't maybe compete with those twenty year olds when you're fifty something, but you can compete with your own age group quite happily, and you've only got to look at the Paralympics to see that things don't hold you back if you don't want them to. So getting over your fear of success is quite often to do with getting over the thoughts that have been sat there as truths in your mind, even though they're not. And as I said earlier, start chipping away and gradually changing your fear of success and your fear of failure. 
so that you embrace it you embrace success you embrace failure we wouldn't have the light bulb if edison had not done some unsuccessful tests thousands of times lots of other things that i'm the first version of windows i never saw version two was pretty duff version three was the first one to be public released and if microsoft had given up at version one we wouldn't have windows up to you whether you think that's good or bad but the same happens with lots and lots of other things so chip away at the fear and if you want more help have a look at the description below this there's a link to hypnosis which is a fantastic way of getting over fears and things it does it really really quick there's a link there and you can get some things you can just play them to yourself no one else need know what you bought but you'll find if you listen to them because again no one knows unless you turn it up too loud what you're listening to on your headphones but listen to them a few times and you'll find that your fear of success will gradually melt away and you become more successful and enjoy yourself more in the process so go for it and thanks for watching